Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel Going to be making a bell pepper, sweet pepper or capsicum potato fry today Let me just show you a couple of things here Roughly, look, you can see I've got my mixed peppers there, I've got a few different colours And my potatoes, roughly equal parts And then in these two bowls Again, roughly equal parts of onions and tomatoes Less onions and tomatoes than the other two guys but you can kind of get a gauge roughly for where we're talking about. I've got some sunflower oil in there, but go and use, a, 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 use any oil you like. I'm going to drop in some cumin seeds, a couple of teaspoons. Just want them to kind of do their thing. I'm going to heat up. It's really simple, this, and actually really, really delicious. There you go, that's looking great. And at this stage I'm going to now drop in some sliced garlic and some chopped fresh ginger. I like the sliced garlic in this dish because I like to kind of see it and get a bit of a bite on it. Usually when I'm making any form of masala or fry, I use uh, garlic paste, but for this one, no. Right, let's start off by getting those onions in and our potatoes now of course our potatoes are what's going to take the longest to cook that's why they've gone in now along with these lovely spices and the onions I'm going to add a touch of salt I'm on kind of above medium heat. Why don't we cook this for about three or four minutes, keep stirring it, give it a nice head start on the rest of the stuff. So absolutely nowhere near cooked our potatoes, but they are getting a coating of those beautiful spices. And they're certainly on their way. At this point, I'm now going to add some powders. And if you're a regular to the channel, you'll know that I always call this the big four. <coughs> Excuse me. Equal parts here, like a teaspoon each of turmeric, chili, coriander, and cumin powder. Or if you like, go ahead and just use your favorite blend or curry powder mix you have. Really quite simple this. I mean you could add some uh, methy to this now, which would be quite nice, which is a uh, fenugreek leaf. I mean I've kept this really basic, there's no cardamom in here, no mustard seeds, just the cumin and our basic big four spices. I think it's all it needs really. So now that we've turned them around and over a little bit, now I'm going to add some cold water. And as you can see, that wasn't very much at all. Now the reason that water's gone in is because I need these potatoes to cook. And it's going to be quite difficult, or don't worry, not difficult, it's take a long time really, just to cook them like that. So a little bit of water and moisture in there is going to really help them on their way. And I'm going to cook these with the lid off. And just try and sort of reduce that water down. So it'll probably be about on my cooker, which is a little bit ferocious. It's probably gonna take about four or five minutes, I reckon. Like four or five minutes that was, as I said. It's kind of reducing down nicely. Potatoes are still fairly hard. Next up, those tomatoes. So the tomatoes are about the same amount of, of onions we put in. Just like two medium tomatoes, you know, chopped up. And I am going to just stir these in now. I'm 
Now I'm going to pop a lid on. And I'll be back here in about, again, sort of three or four minutes. Keep it kind of nice and high, high the heat. What should happen is those tomatoes will break down a little bit, give off a little bit of moisture. We may add a little bit of water or not, I don't know yet. Let's wait and see. Let's jump in now, take a look. Oh, wow. Well, I'm certainly not going to be adding any more water to that. Those tomatoes were certainly juicy enough. If, if yours are not, and just add a little splash of water, you don't need to add too much. It's looking great. Let me just check out these potatoes now. Okay, they're pretty nearly there. I mean, it's still got a bit of firmness about them. Could probably be a few more minutes. And it's at this stage, or late stage, that I'm going to introduce our bell peppers. The reason I'm doing it at a late stage, by the way guys, I'm just going to turn the heat right down now, is I like to have them a little bit of a crunch to them, you know. You do want to cook them to they're really, really soft, that's up to you. But for me, I like a little crunch still going on in there. So we want to kind of simmer now. I just want to bring this together and get those potatoes right. I think they just need a little bit more, probably two or three minutes. I'm going to pop that lid back on, check it every now and then, stir, stir, stir. Okay, let's check it out. I'm turning off the heat. It's just dried somewhat, but it's still got some moisture in there. Check those potatoes now. Yeah, they're much better. Much, much better. They're good. Still got a little bit of firmness about them. That's entirely up to you to check that out. Okay, I'm going to add some fresh chilies. I'm putting mine in whole. If you want, you can chop them around. Put them in. You probably want to check this for salt. I'm not going to because I know it's good for me. I'm not a great salt lover. And that's it. Really simple, really healthy. Really beautiful potato and bell pepper or sweet peppers or capsicums, whatever you call them. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also check out our Facebook and the Twitter and there's loads of other sort of social media that I have nothing to do with but have been asked to tell you that. Anyway, see you later.